What about making money? You might say, Jerry, I've got to make money. Sure, I'd love to give my gift, but the reality of my life dictates I need to make money. How am I supposed to make enough money while I work on this process of discovery? How am I supposed to go and spend all this time and energy doing things that even according to what you've said aren't likely to pay for maybe months or years after starting them? What I find is that when I focus on giving my gift, when I focus on being of service, the universe will make sure I have enough money. Not that I have a bunch of money, that I have fancy money, that I've got all kinds of nice things, but that I have enough to eat and keep giving my gift. I trust that as long as I focus on giving my gift, the money issue will almost take care of itself. Now, I'm not saying completely. You may need to take clients or you may need to work part time. You may need to do things to spend less money and make a little bit while you focus on giving your gift. As I started learning about and doing online teaching, I also was continuing to work for clients. The difference was that in doing the online teaching, I started taking less clients. I started charging more per hour to take clients and I stopped doing a lot of the other things I'd been doing. In getting banned from Udemy, I have drastically cut my expenses in my business. I've cut my expenses down to just a few thousand a month now, whereas when I was teaching on Udemy, they were in the ten to $20,000 a month range. I've cut my expenses down a lot. My wife and I have moved into a house that costs a lot less money than owning a house. We sold our last house and took the money out of it. If you focus on giving your gift, your mind will also likely open up to different possibilities that if you just focus on getting money, you would have never seen. As long as I focus just on making money in my business, I often would waste a lot of the money I did make. As long as I've focused on giving the gift in my business, I've also made a lot better decisions with the money I've had. Now, sure, I'm not perfect. I bought a $48,000 car on credit with a $900 a month payment. At the same time, I also paid down over $100,000 in debt, many of which was on credit cards and personal loans. The car payment is at 4 or 5% interest, one of the lowest interest rate loans I have. I've made a lot better decisions since I started focusing on giving my gift. For example, to spend money on getting my gift out there instead of spending money on trying to sell products. Spending my money to really help people and inspire people and give people the best of what I've created instead of demanding that I make money back right away. Right now, I'm spending a bunch of money, a bunch of money, probably forty or dollars a day or so, I'm spending money to give people a bunch of my courses for free. You might think that's counterproductive. However, the goodwill of doing that often is resulting in what you might call referral commissions from Skillshare, which gives me $10 when someone signs up for a Skillshare premium membership. This often doesn't seem to happen right away. But it seems like often people sign up and then they get converted a while later into a premium membership. If I hadn't made the initial free offer and just given my teaching out for free, then most of the people who've then bought from me or who've then signed up and watched on Skillshare wouldn't have watched to start with. I realize money is a necessity. What I've also noticed is that I've never had a day in my life where I didn't have enough money. The difference, the opposite of having not enough money is not having a lot of money. The opposite of having not enough money is having enough money. And the magic is for that, all that takes is a switch in the mind. When you look around and see, you know what, I've got enough money for today. I've got enough money probably for tomorrow. I don't know about next year. No one honestly knows about next year. No matter how good your retirement plan is, no matter how well your money is sitting in the bank somewhere, no one honestly knows about their money next year. Anyone could be taken out by some external catastrophe. Anyone anywhere could be completely wiped out. Even Bill Gates could be completely wiped out by some catastrophe within a year or two. No one is truly safe 
from ever having their money disappear. Everyone has the ability to look around and see that they have enough money today. What I've found is that when I focus on giving my gift, my mind will open as to ways I can receive money and the universe will often almost conspire to give me money. It's ridiculous. It is an absurd thing that doesn't make sense in any of the normal causality we look at. I'll give you an example right now and I'll give you a concrete example of what you can use to monetize your artwork. This is Patreon.com I'm looking on. This is my Patreon page. I think this is one of the greatest objective ways to just go out there and monetize whatever gift you're giving. Right now, I'm grateful there's 152 people who are giving me $2,000 a month to keep making these videos, keep making these classes. In exchange, I give access to my classes for free. I answer questions in my mastermind. I give rewards as a partner. And this is where I actually charge for clients. Patreon.com can be very challenging to get started with. But the nice thing is if you don't demand to make a bunch of money, if you just ask people to help you and give you enough money, Patreon can help you get those initial few dollars in the door. It can help you get enough money in the start where you've got proof, where you've got enough support. You might be amazed that the people you know may give you hundreds of dollars a month to give your gift and to start with your mother. Even the Patreon official documentation recommends asking mom, come on mom, guess who was one of my first patrons? My mother. I'm grateful my mother still is one of my biggest patrons today. My wife, one of my first patrons. Getting those family members initially and some family members will just say no, no matter what. I have a family member who makes six figures a year who was disgusted. How dare I ask for $5 a month? What am I going to do in return for that? That family member doesn't watch any of my videos. Why would that family member give me $5 a month when that family member's got bills to pay? You may get some nasty no responses and yet it's worth asking. Patreon is one of the best ways I know of to get started making enough money. You might realize if you cut down your expenses and do with less, you might realize you don't need that much to be able to give your gift to do exactly what you want to, to work on discovery and stop sending out the job applications, stop hopping from one client to another, stop going from one job to another. You may realize that if you ask your friends and family and you set up some reward for them. I don't recommend just asking your friends and family for money without giving them anything in return. Now, sure, it's easier for me. I've been working online all these years. I have a lot I can give away and do. And I've got a lot of people following me. And still, it was hard for me. It took friends and family members to get to $300 a month. And it took a lot of effort to get to $300 a month. You might be able, for example, if you want to do painting, you might be able to offer as a reward one of your paintings. You might be able to get $500 or $1,000 a month from your friends and family to paint. If you want to do a podcast, you may be able to get two or $300 a month from your friends and family to do a podcast for them. You don't have to worry then about doing it for the whole world or getting the most people to watch. You can simply do it for them every month. And when you do things like that, in my experience, life, the universe tends to collaborate with me. I'll show you an example of something just ridiculous that's happened in my life. Ridiculous because it defies most of the conventional causality. When I was reading Tony Robbins' book, Money Master the Game, and I was focused on how can I give my gift I started looking for ways to invest and I initially was very frustrated. I was initially like, this is ridiculous. I don't have any money to invest. Why am I even reading this book? I read the book after having a strong feeling listening to Tony Robbins on Tim Ferriss's podcast that I should read this book. So I listened to the first half of the book. He's talking about investing. He's talking about taking massive action. I'm sitting there like, I've got taxes coming up. I can barely pay my bills. I've only got a couple of months of expenses in the bank in cash, and I'm already feeling strapped for cash. 
when I read this book at the same time my friend Albert pitched me on this new online currency. It's called Dash. It is like an improved version of Bitcoin. When I bought it, it was $10 to buy one Dash. I bought a, a thousand Dash. I put $10,000, all of the money I could afford to lose. If I lost that, I'd be looking at barely being able to pay my bills the next month and having to start asking for help, asking people, friends and family members for money, making drastic cuts, perhaps just taking clients instead of making any of the books or video courses. I was looking at having to take somewhat drastic measures to then make money. Looking at if I just lost the whole 10000 that would be a disaster. You see the price of it today and it's $15 higher today than it was yesterday and I'm not even surprised. The universe gave me this gift. I didn't have to work or struggle for it. All I had to do is take a leap of faith to buy $10,000 of something at the time which looked flat and boring. If you look when I bought it over here, it didn't look too exciting. In fact, it had just been up to $14 a few months before and it trended downward to $9 or $10. And I put everything I could afford to invest in it because my friend Albert was so excited about it. Because his friend Robert, who his full-time business is doing making services for these online currencies. This is a gift the universe has given me worth 80. If I sold it today, it's worth $85,000. That's enough for me to pay my bills for an entire year. And I didn't struggle for this. I didn't hustle for this. I took a little leap of faith and the rest of the universe simply handed this to me. This is not unique or special. This happens all the time. Now, this is the first big investment I've ever made in my life. And the trick for me is today I'm not even selling it. I didn't buy this. Master No did I didn't buy the thousand dash to just make a little bit of money. I bought it to be a productive community member. I bought it because I believed in this dash currency. I bought it to do some good to give the $10,000 to the people who are already using Dash and say, here, you're going to do better with this than it's going to do in my savings account. I gave it out of love. And now if I wanted to sell it today, it's tempting to take that $85,000 and to just give it up. At the same time, it pays two Dash every week. Or it pays 1.8 Dash every week or so. If you do the math, that now is $150 a week. That's just been handed to me by the universe. That is a gift. And what I've learned is when I give my gift, I get gifts back. That's why I try and focus my work today on giving the most I can because look, I'm a selfish person just like everyone else. I want the gifts back. I've just learned that when I give the gifts, I get the gifts back. When I give more, I get more. I try and give more, I get more back. When I give more to my family, I get more back. When I give more to you, I get more back. And what I'm learning is that when I focused on giving the very most I can, I also get back the most. And often it's in completely unpredictable ways. I did not think for a minute that this would go up to $95 from 10 in three months. I did not even consider that. I hoped maybe it'd be worth two or three times as much in a year or two. This is the universe just gives me this. And remember too, the universe taketh away. This is given today. It could be gone tomorrow. It could have some critical failure and be worth nothing. I could get my wallet stolen. I could do, I could sell it and miss out on it going up to $200 or $1,000 an hour. The same thing on my Patreon page. I could make my patrons mad. I could say something mean to my mother and my wife. That cost me a significant percentage of my monthly amount. I could aggravate the people who've pledged to my partner program. I could aggravate my clients. I could easily lose nearly all of this overnight as well. What I find is that when I focus on giving the gift, the money is taken care of. The universe will make sure I continue having the chance to give my gift. I cannot demand that I get my money first or I don't get that whole cycle of generosity going out of the universe. 
And this is the whole cycle to break. And it happens with focusing on discovery. When I focus on giving my gift, I receive back. It's the exact opposite order you might imagine. When I focus on doing good work, the universe will make sure I get paid enough to keep doing it. If I'm not doing good work, the universe will make sure that I don't keep getting paid to do it, so I have to shift and do something different. And when that's what people need me to do, you will make sure. If you like what I'm doing, you will make sure I keep doing it. If you like what I'm doing enough and let's say I get banned from another website that I'm teaching on, you'll go sign up on Skillshare as hundreds of other people or on Patreon as hundreds of other people have done. When I got banned from Udemy and I asked, I said, I need help with my money. There were hundreds of people who bought courses on my website. <laughs> I'm grateful today that when I give my gift, I receive the gift back. Thank you very much for experiencing this with me. I hope this has been really helpful for you.